Today, probably a good day for a, a movie indoors. It's it's movie theater weather. Especially film like that. Yeah. That's so awesome. Very yeah. cool. It was a little gray today. We had some trouble getting through the clouds yeah. here in Portland down to about Salem. The further south you went, uh, the clearer the sky was. I want to show you a couple cameras real quick because we have a beautiful slice of color coming out of Lincoln City right now. This is our Chinook Winds Casino Resort camera. Look at that. Love that sunset. We had folks that's kind of lined up taking photos earlier. 55 degrees coming out of Lincoln City. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. The Dalles, look at that. You can see the clouds kind of settling in there uh, down towards the river. 55 degrees east southeast breeze at 9 miles per hour of our Point S camera for your Sunday evening. And one more look while we still have a little bit of light left. 51 degrees coming off Stoller Winery where those clouds are also kind of filling in in the hills there. We'll possibly see some patchy fog heading into tonight around Portland. And that goes for tomorrow morning as well. But once the wind starts to pick on up, that should kind of clear things out. So tomorrow we have a better chance to actually see some sunshine. And I do have us right around a partly cloudy, partly sunny day for tomorrow. We still have that air stagnation advisory in place. We discussed a little bit earlier in the show. That's still Tuesday, still till noon. Hopefully we could get that all cleared out and we won't have any issues heading through the week. I'll tell you right now, our current air quality around Portland is good, but notice there's a couple locations there where we're at a moderate level and even unhealthy for sensitive groups up towards areas of Washington at this time. Show you on the satellite and radar all the clouds that are kind of streaming on in a little bit higher, but we also have those low clouds forming as well with some moisture kind of close to the surface. But once the wind starts to pick on up, that will help kind of stir things out. So I do not expect the fog to last very long heading into tomorrow. This is actually our wind gust forecast, and I think it's picking up the wind a little too early. I think we probably won't see that wind uh, increase till probably closer to tomorrow morning. Uh, but keep in mind, we may have some strong wind gusts tomorrow, maybe up to about 25 miles per hour, and that offshore flow will really help stir things up and potentially even warm things up for us too if we get that sunshine in pretty quick. Okay, so we had that dry stretch that we finally broke yesterday and today we even acquired a little bit of rain too. We're almost to about a quarter of an inch for the month of November, which is still way below where we should be at this time. We do have a couple more opportunities for some rain, but I don't anticipate a lot, but I'll show you when we might see that. We get through our Monday, really not a big deal, but here comes this very weak front on Tuesday, likely passing through in the second part of the day. Let's say about 4 p.m. to the evening hours there, and that might produce some very light rain. But notice how it falls apart. It really trails off there, and we lose a lot of moisture. So it's possible we don't even see the rain on Tuesday, but I do have it in the forecast, and maybe we'll have a little bit of a change over the next couple of days. Wednesday should be dry, although we'll keep some clouds in the forecast. We get to Thursday. Here comes our next front, likely holding off till Friday morning and into the afternoon. And once those showers kind of move on through, will dry up again, leaving for kind of a dry day on Friday for the evening if you're going to have any plans outside. Okay, forecast zones. Notice here for the coast, we have those temperatures in the 60s. Seaside about 62 degrees. Around Portland tomorrow, we should be at 60 and dry with more sunshine. Next chance rain again Tuesday and then again on Friday. Okay, yeah, rain back in the picture. Not something we've seen up until this weekend. Not very often, but it shouldn't be too much, although we need it. We do. Thanks, Joseph. All right, next.